Today I picked the day to film. Of course they're cutting the lawn and picking up trash, but who am I to want to record this video? Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue Mass Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today's video is a little bit different because I'm going to show you guys and tell you guys really how I plan my organizing sessions. So I do get a few of you guys who are interested in becoming a professional organizer. I wanted to create a video showing you guys how I plan so that if you are starting your business, you kind of have an understanding on how to tackle your first client or your client period. I'm also going to relate it to organizing your own home because it's really important to have a plan or a process when it comes to organizing your home so you can tackle it smoothly. So with that said, Let's get right into the video. I'm going to break this video down into four phases from the conception or inception of a project to the end. So with that said, let's get on to this video. So usually during this phase is when I ask the prospect their organizing goals. It's very important that you know why they want to get organized. This is going to help you figure out a solution. But before that, it's just going to help you see how serious the prospect is. So how does this relate to organizing your own home? It's important that you know your why. Why do you want to get your space organized? Is it because you want your guest room back? You want visitors to come to your home and you want a place for them to stay? Is it because you want to create a craft room? You want to create a nursery? You just want to organize your home. What is your why? It's your why that's going to propel you to the final or the end goal, which is an organized home. I always have a why for all of my clients. This not only motivates or inspires them, but it also motivates me to make sure that I deliver an organized, a functional, a beautiful space. So on to the next phase. So phase two is the consultation. So I either have an in-person consultation or a virtual consultation because of the vid virtual is a thing now. So the client has the option to choose and whichever option they choose, I get to see their space in its current state, which is the most important part. This allows me to assess the client's space. It allows me to see their space in its real time. I always tell my clients, or prospects, clients, prospects, prospects, clients, y'all get it. I always let people know that it's important that they leave their space in its current state. Like, so don't clean, don't organize, don't put away anything because it helps me understand their lifestyle so that they can maintain their space after it's organized. So anyway, so if the consultation is an in-person consultation, I then go into the space, of course, take my photos, take my notes, and I take measurements. Taking measurements is so important. I have forgotten this step a few times, and then I have to guess, and guessing is not fun. If it's virtually, I do have the client do that for me. So how this relates to organizing your own home. It's really important that you give your space its own consultation. So go into that room and assess it look at it, digest it, accept the reality of what the room is, because that's again going to propel you to get to the end result. This is your room. This is your doing. The clutter is all your fault. I know taking the responsibility of why your space is that way allows you to also be the solution creator. So write down notes, take photos, take measurements in your own home so that you have all the information you need to get it organized. So, on to the next phase. So phase three. So after I have all my notes, after I have all my photos, I do then create the quote. I usually call it an estimate because things can change, but I do send it to the client after the consultation and then they have the choice to approve it. So we're gonna assume that they approved it. Therefore, in phase three is when I start planning. This is, again, a very important part because ah, it literally has made my job a lot easier. <laughs> what I do is I send the client a step-by-step -step guide on how I plan on organizing their space. Keep in mind, I don't always follow it, 
but I do at least create some type of guideline. So if the client wanted to organize their space after we left, they know what to follow. And it also keeps us accountable as we are organizing their space because we know what needs to happen. It's very important. And of course, it doesn't need to be super detailed because it can change. But as long as the client understands what we're doing in their space, they at least feel comfortable whenever we come into their space, which is really important. And then I send them the shopping list, which is probably the fun part for most. Um, in the shopping list, I include all the products I believe will work in their space. Sometimes people give me photos, they show me what they like. And in the shopping list, I add all the products that fit their style and also flow with how I organize, if you will. And then they have the option to select the products they like. Let's just say I'm a vibe creator. I wanna make sure that whenever they walk into their organized space, the vibe is happening. They feel the vibe and it feels good. So that's kind of what I do consider as I'm considering, 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 as I'm suggesting organizing products. And how this relates to you organizing your home is this is the fun part. You get to shop. It's important that you plan the organizing process so you can create a plan that starts with declutter first or get rid of those items you know for sure you want to keep. You know, just create a detailed plan for yourself so that you know what to do. When you get to the point, it may seem a little bit exhausting. Of course, you do have the option to stop and then to come back to organizing your space. But as, as long as you have that plan, you are mm, in great hands. That rhymed. So the best thing that I used to use before I use the system that I use now is I used to create a Word document full of organizing products that I wanted to present to a client. You can do it that way where you literally just copy and paste products and then kind of it allows you to look at them or you can create wish lists on the uh, store website and there you can at least see all the products and kind of see the way they look next to each other which makes it easier for you to shop and purchase what you need. If you are someone who's gonna be going into the store, as long as you've already researched the product and you know for sure that it's gonna fit, then of course go into the store and buy it. The shopping part is really important for both processes or both spectrums, but uh, just make sure that you know exactly the measurements, you know what you're shopping for, so when you do go into the store and when you do press submit or check out, <laughs> you're getting the correct products for your space. So by this time, I have communicated with the client a few times. They are aware of what was purchased. But once the organizing session is here, I have all the products in my car. I am ready. I've already spoken to whoever's going to be joining me on that project. So we are on the same page. So whether you are working alone or with someone, just make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Again, that plan helps out because you won't go into that client's house for the first time scared, nervous, because you know what you're doing. You are prepared, which is really important. So how this relates to organizing your home, as long as you have that plan, guys, you have already shopped for your items and they're here. Now you can organize it using that plan. So just follow it, guys. That plan is really important because it keeps you accountable and it also helps you see how you plan on organizing your space or what you need to do to organize your space. So once you start organizing your space, you won't have a bottleneck because you don't know what to do. So in phase four, again, this is where you start to declutter, you declutter your home, you get rid of those items you no longer want, need, find valuable, and then you start placing the organizing products that you purchased in their new homes. So even though we're at the end of the phases, this is the mecca of the process. You are creating the organizing systems either for a client or for yourself and you have to make sure that that organizing system works which is why the phases before are so important because you're not just creating a look right you want to make sure that the client is able to walk in that space find what they need use the space as efficiently as possible and of course you want them to enjoy looking at it but the most important part is of course functionality it has to work it has to work. So hopefully this video helps you. I wanted to make sure that this video spoke to those individuals who wanted to be professional organizers, but also to you guys who want to, you know, organize your home. Having a plan and a process is so important because it's gonna get you to the end result in the most efficient way where you're not wasting time because over here, we do not waste time. So let me know in the comment section below if you want more videos like this. And let me know in the comment section below if you I guess learn something new. Yeah, we'll say that. You already know what time it is. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you soon. Bye.